back to my channel. Today I have a makeup tutorial. I'm going back to my roots and doing a makeup look for you guys. And today I'm going to be using the Disney Mini Beauty Collection with Sephora. I have four of the items from the collection to show you guys. I have the brush set, the eyeliner duo, the eyeshadow palette, and the red lipstick. If you like makeup hauls, or Disney videos, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe while you're here because I upload Disney videos three times a week and I've seen lots of new subscribers recently. So hi, welcome to my channel. And if you haven't already, you should definitely follow my four social medias, which are Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook, which are all Diz with Sid. And yeah, if you're interested in seeing what all these products are and how they apply and just how to get this look, then just keep on watching. First things first, with this look, we're going to start off with our eyes. So I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 10 and use this with my eyeshadow primer. I'm going to blend that in with my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. This is the shade Dulce de Leche. I'm going to take the lighter highlight shade and set the lids with that. And this will help make the eyeshadow last longer. This is the Disney Mini Beauty with Sephora eyeshadow palette. And this opens up and is actually a clutch. You can take out the eyeshadows and the mirror and make it into a clutch and this has 20 super beautiful variety of eyeshadows hmm i actually have no idea what kind of look i'm gonna do for today first things first i'm going to take the shade flirt in a skirt it is just a kind of neutral brown i'm going to take that on a fluffy blending brush and i'm going to apply this all right above my crease as a transition color. I'm going to take the shade Pick Me Up at 8, which is just a darker neutral brown. And I'm going to buff that into the crease. Top off the excess because these shadows are super pigmented. Now to clean up what we did in the crease, I'm going to take the shade Put a Bow on it. It is this top um, off-white shade that matches my skin tone. And I'm just going to apply that on my brow bone brush up on glamour mini beauty tools kit this comes with five brushes and first we're going to use this fluffy blending brush i'm going to take that and go back into flirt in a skirt i'm just going to use that to blend out uh pick me up at eight even more the focus of the look to be the red lips so for my lid color i'm going to go in with red carpet arrival which is that shade right there i'm going to take another one of mini's brushes this is just a flat Shader brush, which is perfect for applying shimmering colors on the lid. And I'm going to go into Red Carpet Arrival and just apply that to my lid. And then with that same brush, I am going to take Daisy's My BFF, which is the white, the pure white. And I'm going to put that in my inner corner. Onto liner, Minnie's Colorful Winky Eyeliner. This is in the shade Little Black Dress. To make sure the eyeliner stays in place all day, I'm going to take another one of Minnie's Beauty Tools. This is the angled brush in the kit, and I'm going to dip it into I'm All Ears, which is the completely black shade, and I'm just going to set the liner. Now for my eyebrows, I'm just going to wipe off the angled brush and go back into the shade, pick me up at eight. I'm going to use that eyeshadow to fill my eyebrows because it matches. Cons for today, I'm going to be taking my really ratchet tiny sample of Hoola Bronzer by Benefit and I'm going back in with Minnie's fluffy powder brush. I'm just going to tap some of this and swirl it right where my cheekbones are, the hollows of my cheekbones. Now for blush, I'm going to be taking Wet n Wild's Mai Tai Buy You a drink and I'm going to be taking that with angled blush brush. I'm just going to dip this solely into the bottom shade because this is an ombre blush. And I'm going to swirl this onto the apples of my cheeks and blending it back into my hairline. Now we're going to move back to the eyes, to the lower lash line. I'm going to be taking the fluffy blending brand, the shade Flirt in a Skirt. I'm just going to take that and blend it underneath the lower lash line. This is what I think is actually my favorite part, the lipstick. This is the Sephora Disney Mini Mini's Perfect Red Lipstick. It looks like this. It's in a nice metal gold bullet and you just pop the lid off. And it is just a true red lipstick. And I'm going to just apply this to my lips. Okay, now on to my first impression slash 
thoughts on the products, the eye brushes, I can grab them here, the shader brush, the blending brush, and the eyeliner brush. I am absolutely in love with. I will definitely be using these every single day now because they are the best eye brushes I own. The face brushes I like, but I wish the powder brush was a little bit softer. It does a good job blending everything out. It just feels a little bit rough on the skin, but the blush brush is super soft and easily blends out blush. So I wouldn't let the powder brush discouraging you from getting the entire set because it's still a good powder brush. It's just not my favorite because I have others in my collection that I like better. But I honestly buy this set just for this freaking adorable makeup brush stand. Like this is the cutest thing ever. The eyeliners I am absolutely in love with as well. The black eyeliner is so matte and just perfectly hugs your lash line and it is easy to create a wing. It's super pigmented and it dries easily and I just really like this. I wish that they sold the black eyeliner by itself because the white eyeliner is good to have but I don't see myself using it as often as I would use the black eyeliner. So just keep that in mind, but again, the kit is $20 for two eyeliners, so it's definitely worth it to buy just for the black. And you can use the white if you're doing like a special makeup tutorial or you need a white eyeliner for something. So there's my opinions on that. The eyeshadow palette has to be my absolute favorite thing in the collection. These shadows are so pigmented and buttery, were amazingly easy to blend, and there's such a variety of colors that you could ever want in this palette. So if you're a beginner with makeup, I would definitely recommend getting this palette, or if you love Disney and you just want it for the packaging because these shadows are to die for. The lipstick I also really enjoy. It is a very um, creamy, buttery, easy to apply lipstick. Is when I first filmed this video, I tried to put the lid back on the lipstick and it took off the top of the lipstick. You can barely even tell now because I smoothed it down, but that was really frustrating because it seemed the lipstick was too tall, was too tall for the bullet, which is kind of disappointing because I don't know if it was just me or if it was the lipstick I got, but just be careful with that when you're putting the cap back on for the first time. So that is it for my mini tutorial slash first impressions. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment with any video ideas you have. Don't forget to subscribe because I upload Disney videos three times a week and follow me on all four of my social medias, which are Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat, all this was Sid. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that I see you in the next one. Bye!